Welcome to All in Exam Race. This is a thermodynamics, and we are here for Kirchhoff's law, Wien's law, and Stefan's law. We will see what actually Kirchhoff's law and how this is related to the emissivity and absorptive absorptive powers. Also, we will see what Wien's law and how it is related to the wavelength and temperature. We will see the Stefan's law, and the in the Stefan's law, we will also see how the Newton's law of cooling can be derived by using the Stefan's law. and the problem related to these laws so kirchhoff law is all about the ratio ratio of emissive power to the absorptive power okay so if i say the kirchhoff law it is a ratio of uh, emissive power okay emissive power to absorptive power okay but the condition is there what kind of condition i'm talking about that emissive power to the absorptive power has certain length wavelength and which must be this ratio must be constant and let this constant be e lambda this e lambda is what constant emissive power is small e lambda absorptive power is e lambda so what is e lambda e lambda is your emissive power e lambda is emissive power for we can say emissive power of black body black body at same temperature that correspond to the same wavelength okay and correspond to same wavelength wavelength this is what the your e lambda is so kirchhoff law is all about the ratio ratio emissive power to the absorptive power for the uh, corresponding wavelength that is correspond to all bodies and this constant is equal to the emissive power of a perfect black body as i told you and that perfect black body has same temperature and same corresponding same wavelength okay now suppose different different phenomena we have you will see that all so we know e lambda capital e lambda is e lambda over a lambda now suppose if a lambda is large a lambda is large then what will happen then your e lambda uh e lambda will be large if a lambda is large e lambda is large because capital e lambda is constant that's why what does it means it means that if body absorb radiation if body absorb radiation the body absorb radiation strongly okay certain wavelength strongly i'm talking about wavelength it means that then it will strong strongly emit also emit the radiation also strongly emit the radiation simple if it is strongly absorb the radiation it will strongly emit the radiation of that wavelength clear so this is what the uh, e lambda all about also we know the emissivity emissivity that is this of a body is defined by the ratio of its emissive power to that of emissive power of black body okay emissive power of body to the emissive power of black body or what we can say it is e lambda over capital e lambda okay so this is what we can say and must be the condition condition is 
same temperature clear so we know this that uh, emissivity is this one also we know this we have discussed about it e to the power lambda over a to the power lambda so from these two equations let this be the one this be the two from these two equation what we conclude we conclude that a lambda must be equals to emissivity sorry must be equals to emissivity okay so what we can say that absorptive power absorptive power is equals to emissivity okay so if absorptive power is equals to emissivity what does this means this is actually the kirchhoff law okay so if i say final con uh, final conclusion for kirchhoff's law kirchhoff's law is that a good observer uh, absorber a good absorber uh, okay absorber is good emitter simple since a good absorber is a poor reflector good absorber is a poor reflector so ability of body to emit radiation is related to the opposite its ability of reflection okay also you can say a good absorber or sorry good emitter is what a poor reflector simple now come to stephen boltzmann law what does it state that it states that the energy emitted for perfect black body per second per unit area is directly proportional to fourth power of its absolute temperature it means that we can say e e is your heat energy emitted this is heat energy heat energy per second per unit area okay is directly proportional to t to the power 4 as you remove the proportional sign you will got some constant that is your stefan boltzmann constant fine 